Now bear with me, this is a complex plot with a lot of names. Daniel Craig plays Mr X, a London businessman whose commodity happens to be cocaine. Having earned a crisp million, he plans to retire in one week's time. Jimmy Price is a powerful supplier who instructs Mr X to organise the purchase of one million stolen ecstasy tablets from the Duke, a low-level gangster. He also is asked to track down Charlie, the teenage daughter of Price's associate Eddie Temple. Mr X tries to broker the sale of the ecstasy pills to Liverpool gangsters Trevor and Shanks. They refuse, informing him that the drug's owners have sent an assassin known as Dragon to find the pills and kill those responsible. The members of the Duke's gang soon start turning up dead and the Duke himself goes missing. Meanwhile, Mr X encounters the Duke's nephew Sidney at a bar and becomes attracted to his girlfriend Tammy. They arrange a tryst but Mr X is kidnapped by the henchmen of Eddie Temple. Temple informs Mr X that Jimmy has lost 30 million in a failed investment and that Jimmy is also an informant for the police intended to double cross Mr X. Mr X sneaks to Jimmy's home and kills him, but does so with the gun that Gene, Jimmy's henchman, had used to commit a prior murder, putting himself and Gene in danger. Mr X is the acting boss and is shown the corpse of the Duke, who Gene had killed earlier. Mr X tips the police off about the Duke's hideout, who then conduct a raid. Mr X delivers the severed head of the Duke to Dragon as a peace offering who reports back to his bosses the police seizure of the drugs. Mr X's associates return the drugs to him, however when he attempts to sell them to Eddie Temple he is double crossed. Expecting betrayal, Mr X successfully arranges for Trevor and Shanks to steal the drugs back from Temple. Mr X says his goodbye to the layer cake but on his departure he is shot by Sydney with his final fate remaining uncertain. You're not in there because I like it.